Let us understand the structure of a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet structure is actually very simple. It's got a bunch of columns and a bunch of rows. The columns are given alphabetical names. So the alphabets A, B, C through Z are used as column names. And if we want more columns, the further columns are named A, 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 B, A, C, etc., etc. And a spreadsheet can have numerous columns. Most of the time, we will not go anywhere near the limits that a spreadsheet program allows. The rows are numbered, the numeric row numbers, and that's all there is to a spreadsheet program. You've got alphabetical column names, you've got numeric row numbers, and at the intersection of column, each column and row is a cell. In essence, that's all there is to a spreadsheet, and there are a few more principles that you need to understand, and you'll be up and running pretty quickly. Let's go further. So now, we already know that at the intersection of a row and column is a cell, right? So you've got this row, row 3, and column B, and at their intersection is a cell, and an important element or important characteristic of a cell is the cell's address, right? Because we'll be referring to cells in, our, in creating spreadsheets, and we need to understand the notion of a cell address. A cell address is simply composed of the cell's column name, combined with the cell's row number. So for this particular cell that we have highlighted right here, it's in column B and row 3 and therefore its address is B3. That's all there is to a cell address. Okay, so now that you understand what a cell address is, let's try something. Okay, so here is a spreadsheet, an imaginary spreadsheet. It's not a real shot of a screenshot of a spreadsheet program. It's just something that I've drawn up for illustration. So I've highlighted a particular cell and uh, it's your turn now to find out what is the address of this cell. It would be a good idea for you to pause the video at this point, think up your answer, and then of course proceed with the video to see the correct answer. Okay, now uh, I would just like to highlight at this point that it's very important for you to put in effort when you're looking at these videos. So when I say stop the video and think about the solution, it'll be a really good idea for you to actually do that because it's only when you put in the effort that you actually learn. One never learns by listening to others. You always learn by doing something. And in these parts of the videos, I provide you with an opportunity to actually do something and I would say that those are the important parts of this course where you're trying to reinforce whatever you've heard in the previous minutes. Okay, so pause the video at this point and uh, just think up in your own mind what the address of this particular cell is and then go ahead and continue the video to see the answer. Okay, so I assume you've now thought about it, you've got an answer. Of course, the correct answer is D2 right because this cell is in column D and it's in row 2 and therefore the cell address is D2. Remember a cell address is comprised of the column name and the row number combined. One more for you to just test out your concepts, understanding of the concept. So once again what is the address of this highlighted cell? Uh, once again pause the video, think up an answer for yourself and then proceed with the video to see the correct answer. Okay, I'm sure you got the answer to be E4 because this cell is in column E and it's in row 4. Okay, the cell address once again just to repeat is formed by the column name and the row number combined.